Hello, my name is Adonis, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be doing a weekly love spread for all of my Pisces out there. So this is a weekly love spread for all of my Pisces out there for the week of August 10th to the 16th. So, let's get after it. Okay. <clears throat> Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. Sun, moon rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. Summer rising Venus and Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see. What kind of love or energy is coming towards my Pisces out there? What kind of love or energy is coming towards my Pisces out there? Show me the cards that I need to see. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> hmm. Ooh. All righty, all righty, my Pisces, my Pisces. So we're dealing with someone that's dealing with a bit of indecision here, okay? It's kind of like an indecision here that they're dealing with here. Now, this is a younger water sign individual, okay? Like yourself, a water sign individual, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio individual, okay? Um, and this individual, at the moment, is kind of feeling a little bit stuck. Okay, things have kind of grounded, grinded to a halt, rather. Things have kind of grinded to a halt with this individual here. Um, and things are kind of stagnant. They're not moving forward. It actually feels like they're kind of losing ground, if you will. Okay, this individual feels like they're losing ground because things have kind of came to a standstill. This individual is being very, 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 very protective protective of themselves they're very they're being um you know they're they're kind of being very cautious if you will this individual is being very cautious um you know kind of watching their back and, and and feeling like you know their backs up against the wall so to speak um there's a great deal of anxiety that this individual is dealing with as well with the nine of swords there's a great deal of anxiety a great deal of depression if you will that this person is dealing with in a pursuit of this situation. So we're kind of building up the tension, like the drum roll. Do, 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 do. We're building up the drum roll to the tension. So it is an X. Okay. It is an X. I know you guys are like, God damn it, Adonis. It is what it is, people. So, uh, so recap real quick. We have this X that um, that's kind of beginning to kind of push up. Again, um, uh, from from the periphery, if you will, uh, it's, it's a water sign, younger water sign individual. Things are kind of stagnant. Things aren't kind of moving, okay, because there's kind of like there's been there, done that energy, so to speak. Uh, they feel like their back's up against the wall. Now, it's causing them a great deal of stress, a great deal of anxiety. Um, they really want to talk to you. They really want to communicate their perspective to you. They really want to show you that they've changed. This is definitely an X energy, if you will. Uh, this individual, uh, we have the emperor energy here. This person is definitely going to try to assert themselves into the situation to kind of try to guide it in the direction where, you know, where they want it to go to, however. <clears throat> but with all of that being said, and I can, with all of that being the case, they're going to offer, they have offered your, your, their cup of love, and you've been like, stop. Nope. Not having it. Don't want nothing to do with it. I'm done. <clears throat> well, guess what? They're coming back around again. They're coming back around again. Your ex has something else to say again. <clears throat> so, with that being the case, let us see what your overall strength or energy of this particular situation is. What is your overall strength? In other words, rephrasing this, what are your overall lessons that you've learned from this that have made you stronger? Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. One more shuffle or to do it. There you go. First up, we got the five of wands. So arguments, tension, conflicts. Um, the lessons that have been learned from this situation are as follows. Um, when it comes to conflict and tension and uh, overall, and just like an overall, uh, just, just, just negative aura, if you will, 
um, you've learned just to say, you know what, no. You know, uh, you don't want to bring down your energy to the level of someone else's. Because as that old saying goes, never fight a fool. Because they'll bring you down to their level and they'll beat you with experience. Okay? So, the same can be said here with this situation. Never deal with a person that is in a constant argumentative state. Because, you know, that's, you know, some people thrive off of that chaos, if you will. Um, and, and never engage with people like that, especially, you know, exes or even people in your family. Because what happens here is, you know, they bring you down to that level and then they just, then, then they, de they devour you. And that leaves you feeling less than. So never do that. So you learn to kind of pick and choose your battles and you really don't like the battle that much. So you want to keep yourself out of situations such as that. Also, Page of Swords here. Page of Swords energy represents a situation in which, you know, uh, you know, maybe, you know, there's a difference between naivete and uh, dealing with a situation which is just kind of overall just immature. Now, uh, you know, you realize that, you know what? I really kind of want to avoid immature situations. There are some red flags that I start seeing in the beginning of a situation. I kind of know that's not for me. And you kind of, you kind, you know, you kind of extrapolate yourself from this. You extrapolate from the situation what works, what doesn't work, you leave behind. That's the other thing. In addition here, we got the chariot card, which tells us that you want to be in control of your own destiny when it comes to your own romantic life. Okay. You don't want someone else. You don't want to be somebody. You don't want, in other words, to be uh, have let someone else be the pace car, and then you're you're lapping them. You're following behind them. You want to be in char charge of your own destiny, if you will. Okay. Also, we have the eight of wands here. What that says is that you know, um, you know, this has kind of made you open up your diversify your palette, if you will. Um, I get the sense here that usually you were the type of person that, you know, it would be a, a, a hands-on type of thing. You know, you like to meet people in person, get to know them. Um, and I get the feeling that since this situation with this has taught you that you met this person face-to-face, -face, you, you've you met them, and you were like, you know what, Let, let's see, maybe maybe this online thing, let's just kind of see what's going on here. Maybe, you know, you're not as opposed, the door's not shut on the whole online thing, meeting someone online, maybe like Facebook, Twitter, not so much, I'm not necessarily saying so much on a dating site perhaps, but, or maybe so, but not specifically, you know, through business contacts on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram, stuff like that, so you're not opposed to that situation. Also, you're not opposed to slowing things down or completely making things come to a stand to all out grunt, a halt, if you will. Um, you're not going to just kind of stay in a relationship to go along and get along. If something starts going south or slipping the wrong way, you'll end it or you'll walk away from it, okay? Also, things have come full circle for you, okay? There's the beginning, the middle, and the end, okay? Also, um, you're not a po you know, maybe, um, you know, this also represents a situation of liberation because the world card also represents not only something foreign travel, uh, foreign energy, but also represents an aspect, believe it or not, of, of liberation as well liberating yourself from the collective, if you will. Finally here, you are looking for a soulmate connection, okay? Two of Cups, a soulmate connection, but also a friend, a lover and a friend, someone that you have other things in common with because, you know, the longer you're with somebody, after a while, things, you know, it's natural. Things kind of become a little still after a while, you know, you and you got to, you know, keep re-sparking the situation to kind of make it as fresh and vibrant as it used to be. And what really helps is if you guys are friends, okay? So that's what really helps here in this particular situation. That has been the growth. That's what you've learned. Those are the strengths, the overall strengths of this overall situation. So with that being said, let us get to the Oracle deck. And then I will shut this thing down. What additional information does Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? What additional information does Spirit want to give before I shut this thing down? Here we go. Absence. Spirit saying, yep. Mm -hmm. There is absolutely an absence that's missing from the situation. There's no there there. There's no there there. 
All right. So spirit is acknowledging the fact that there is an absence of any kind of uh, connectiveness that 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 you feel for this individual. It's gone. Also, spirit saying space. Giving yourself space, distance from this situation. So when this X starts coming into your orbit again, the best thing for you to do is kind of be elsewhere. Give yourself space from this situation. Allow yourself room to breathe. You know, room to allow yourself to let your brilliance shine through. This is not a time where you need to be reconnecting with old energies. This is a time to be exploring new energies, new opportunities, okay? So... Uh, in essence, dealing with an X at this particular junction will be taking two steps forward. I mean, excuse me, two steps backwards. You want to take two steps forward, not two steps backwards, okay? So it would be counterproductive, in other words. All right, so with that being said, <clears throat> um, let me shut this thing down. Um, this is a general love reading. Okay, may not resonate with every with everyone. If this does not resonate with you, fr with you, take from it what you will. Okay, that resonates with you, and disregard the rest. If this does resonate with you and you want to know more about this particular situation, again, a link will be below. Make sure you get yourself a personal reading. Okay, um, if you guys haven't already, please like, please share, and please subscribe. I love you guys. My name is Adonis, and I will absolutely. See you next time. All right. Bye-bye and enjoy the rest of your night or day wherever you are in the world. Take it easy.